Today's episode is all about gold leaf. I've been using it uh, more recently. This is the latest piece. Sorry that ring light is picking uh, up the glass so much of the frame. It's really simple to use. It's really beautiful. It gives such a, a shine and a different dimension to the work. It gives a different sheen. So it's really fun to use and it's much easier than what people might think. Things you'll need is some glue. There's many brands. This is the one that I've been using most recently and I've found that a lot better than this brand here, for example. You'll need your gold leaf, which fascinating how it's made. It's actually pounded into these I was going to say paper thin, but they're much, much finer than, than paper. Basically the sheets come with a leaf in between. Tweezers are handy. You need some different size brushes, a very soft brush and a firmer brush. These are old watercolour brushes that aren't so good for watercolour anymore and I've found they're really great for the gold leaf. You'll also need some sealant, so some sort of uh, varnish to go over the top to help hold the gold leaf to the surface because it is so delicate. Gloves are a good idea because of how delicate the gold leaf is, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's just get straight in. The first step is to have this glue very fine layer. That brand actually recommends airbrushing the glue on. The smoother this layer is the better the gold leaf will look. So the glues all take a certain amount of time to go off or to become their most sticky. This one that I'm using, the Express It, only takes five or ten minutes. This other other brand was about 20 minutes and I didn't like waiting so long so it's good to have a five to ten minute window. What you're basically looking for is for it to become tacky. Okay that's starting to become much more sticky, sticking to the page. Uh, this is just paper that I'm working on in a visual diary. So let's get our sheet. Again many many brands of sheets I've found these don't pull out of the leaves as well as I'd like. It is super thin, really easy to be caught by the wind. And that's, I guess, the trickiest part is how thin it is. It's really easy to tear like that. And it's easy to not get it laid down flat. So then I use this soft brush just to press and very, very gently, I'm just pressing leaf into where there is glue. And you might be able to see the area there now being picked up where there is glue compared to where there is no glue. Come in with a stiffer brush This can be saved at a later, for a later stage. But the firmer brush, I'm not really giving any more weight other than the weight of the brush to this. Because you can scratch into the leaf as well. So the hardest thing I think is to get it get it smooth but sometimes the uh, texture can be quite wonderful and effective. So if I had have wanted a perfect rectangle I would have needed to put my glue down particularly well in that shape because as you can see the glue the leaf sorry is stuck exactly to where those brush marks were which is quite lovely. Now if I wanted a perfect rectangle I could just come straight back in with the glue it's okay for the glue to go over where you already have leaf give that a 
lovely straight edge picking up muck and we might do while I've got some glue on the brush I'll show you in line it can be nice to build up the layers of the gold leaf too we'll show you that I'll go over there want a very smooth I'm just picking up those little tiny bits of gold leaf it's a bit like uh, oh, what's that joke about if there's five people doing craft and one's using glitter how many projects have glitter in it all of them <laughs> uh, very gold leaf is very much like that that uh, it does as you can see all these little specks it does go everywhere unless there's glue or something else that it will stick to you can get get rid of it so again we'll just wait for that to cure I'll come back okay that's been about five minutes so let's some gold leaf over there where we've glued So I'm not quite sure what's happened there. I perhaps it's stuck quite well, so I must have had glue there. That you can sometimes with some uh, painter's tape put it over the area you don't want. bit like waxing you can uh, take it off there this being on paper is going to take some of the paper but you can see that it's clearly taken that uh, and now this other little line I did See what I mean about being like glitter does go everywhere and there's that nice finer finer line so yeah the gold leaf can be put really on any surface and here where I had the glue that uh, in this tin it's just the texture in there is just so beautiful so it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, smooth like this it can be used in many ways all of this scraps can be saved to be used they will stick just as well as a, a large sheet uh, depending on of course if you're gilding a say a picture frame you want the large sheets but for little fine lines like this these little flakes are perfect in fact you can buy the flakes the gold leaf in flakes rather than sheets what you need to do next is completely clean your surface and it needs to be sealed. So you can use any sort of spray varnish over this, any of those varnish mediums. You can get an actual uh, sealer for the leaf which is what this is, metal leaf sealer, which I shall do now. So the same way as a varnish on a painting. It dulls off while it's wet, but once it dries, that metallic shine comes back. This will just help hold it to the surface and protect it from knocks and dust when you're wanting to clean the work if it's not going uh, behind glass as the finished product. I hope that's encouraged you to use gold leaf and you've seen 
the process is so simple. Probably the hardest bits are just how delicate the leaf sheets are, but it's a lot of fun. And so where I've done the double layer, you can just, hopefully that camera there is picking up the opacity of that. So, you know, you can do as many layers as, as you like. With that sealer on, once it's dry, I can also paint over that. So Gold Leaf 101, hope you enjoyed it. Stay well, see you next time, bye.